Um, how's preparation been this week uh, going into the regular season opener? Pre guys? Preparation been good, man. Oh, Got a little guess right there. Pre preparation been good. Um, excited at this game week, um, first and foremost. But um, I'm excited, man, to get out there in front of the fans, go put on the show, and uh, you know, go out there and put our best foot forward. I um, went back doing a little work today. Uh, you and Jake were the only uh, starters left from the uh, playoff game in Philly. Mm -hmm. um, is this a team that could return uh, the franchise to respectability? You know, man, we. Um, we de we definitely confident in the guys we got in the building, you know, today. But at the end of the day, we got to take it one game at a time, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we're starting off with a, a division opponent. You know, every opponent is, is is important, but you know, having the opportunity to start fast in the division is going to be, um, you know, for Paramount just, you know, just it's important. You know, so um, we just focus on where we are right now. You know, not really too thinking about that 2017 no more. But um, you know, we're just looking forward. How much is what you put on the field and defensively Sunday will be, this is our defense, a sort of finished product, and how much of it will be, this is just kind of the midpoint of now we build, you know, we kind of build and add and see what works. Yeah, I think that's a good question, but I, I think, um, you know, anytime we go out on that field, we're going to put our best foot forward, you know, and um, we're going to shoot to be the best we can be, you know, as, as complete as we can be, and uh, that's what I'm excited to see, you know, um, just come to life. You know, I'm excited to see it just like you guys are, and um, but I'm super confident in what, what we got, you know, what we've been working on through training camp, through, um, you know, the work we put in day in and day out, and the guys that we have new, new on the team, and I think it's going to be a, um, be a good day. I should have looked back and looked up your history against rookie quarterbacks. Do you have any particular feeling about placing a rookie quarterback one way or the other? I mean, not necessarily. I think at the end of the day, it is inevitable. You know, they made it make it known when you going against rookie quarterbacks. Obviously, no more picking a draft. You know, it's definitely a point of point to talk about. But you got to give um, each game, and especially in the NFL, the due respect of preparation. You know, nothing is given in this league. Every um, every game, you got to put your best foot forward. And you can't take anything for granted. You know, so um, so I'm excited to go out there and just. Repeat, you know, see how see how it goes. Is it fun to learn the quirks of a new quarterback, though? Like how you can get to him and the ways to defend him. Um, I don't, I don't know. You said fun. To learn. You know, it's, it's hard when you got a rookie like quarterback. I know what you're saying. It's hard when you have a rookie quarterback that don't have film that's playing an actual NFL game. So why you? Why you out there competing? You competing to do the best you can do, and then on after the game you can go and learn. What the, good thing we get to face Carolina twice, but. In the moment, living in the moment, you're doing your best to stop them, do what you can do to get to them. And, um, you know, as careers progress, you learn guys and how they um, develop and move, how they want to run the offense. But it's going to be a lot of elements of surprise. You know, you got a um, new offense, new quarterback. So we just got to play the game how it go. Grady, just a question about your uh, locker room buddy, uh, Matthew Bergeron, sitting right next to him. Uh, I guess you had your share of battles during training camp. What can you tell me about it? Uh, but Bird, Bird is a heck of a competitor, man. Um, you know, well built, strong, uh, strong base, and uh, just super happy to have him on his team. And uh, gave, we gave, um, we worked to good together during um, training camp and stuff like that. So um, I'm excited to see him go out there and have the opportunity to put his best foot forward and in his first NFL game. And uh, but he'll be well prepared, you know, going against uh, the guys that he lined up against every day. And um, so super confident in the, his ability to go out and contribute to this team. Thank you very much. There's been a lot of talk about how this season feels different. If you were to just describe it in like a word or two, what would you do? Uh, as far as just like pre, like just hype yeah. or um, how does it feel? I mean, it feel good. You know, I'm super confident, you know, in this team, you know, and I think um, we got a lot of good football ahead of us. And um, we have a group of guys that's going to be hungry and do, you know, do put our best foot forward. But, you know, I like I say every year, you know, you got to go out there and play the game. It don't matter if they crown you this or that before the season or they tell you you ain't this before the season. Me, I'm a realist. You got to go out there and play the game. You know, hype, I mean, it don't, you know, what is, it ain't going to win the game for you. We got to go execute. We got to go play hard. We got to go play with great effort and um, see, let the rest take care of itself. Ryan Nielsen didn't call the plays at his last place. Where's your confidence level with him heading into week one? Um, very high. <laughs> um, I mean, I think the question, um, it's a good question, fair question. It's very high. I feel like he's been chosen as our defense coordinator for a reason. I'm excited to go out there and um, play for him. And, um, you know, it's been fun working with Ryan. Spent a lot of time with him as my, not only my coordinator, but as my position coach and just learning new things amongst defensive line. But I'm excited for um, him, this defense, and uh, myself, and just this whole team for us to go out there and just put our best foot forward. So it's definitely a very exciting time.
Anything else? Cool. Thanks, Greg. Yes. What, what's your thoughts heading into your first uh, regular season NFL game? Yeah, man. I mean, I, I, I'm super excited. Um, obviously, like this is what, what God had planned for me. So, you know, I'm really excited to go out there, and play for Him, and play for my teammates, play for everybody um, in Atlanta. So, I'm, I'm really excited to get going, and you know, I just can't wait till Sunday. What's the preparation been like? Uh, you know, the first week. I know Wednesday and Thursday are kind of big days normally. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they're 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 a big focus days. Um, you know, just just hard hat days that, you know, we just got to go hard. You know, for for both for both practices and understand that you know if we start getting ourselves in condition for the game, then you know when, when we do get to the game, then the game will be easier than practice. But you know, for me, it's just more of learning a learning process and just learning the game plan. So for what we have on Sunday, you know, we'll go out there and execute the right way. What we try to do to kind of you know keep the nerves down. You know, you know it's gonna be there, but we're yeah. gonna try to do the hand. That part of. I mean, just it, it, you know, it's my it's my first game, so you know, I'm a, I'm a keep the same routine and understand that you know I gotta I gotta get my prayer in with my family and understand that you know this is gonna be a, a good one for for me and for my teammates. But I mean, I mean, I'm gonna take it like every every single game that I play. Obviously, it's the first one, so you know I'm gonna be a little nervous. Uh, but then when, when we get out there in that field, then it's all gonna go away and just gotta do what you gotta do. We talked a lot about unscouted looks, you know, for you guys facing Carolina's unscouted looks and vice versa. Yeah. Do you do you feel like you have unscouted looks though that you're that you're going to be able to give them offensively that they haven't, you know, that they're not going to be quite yeah. prepared for with all your weapons? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we're trying to do as many things as we can to, you know, get them in, get ourselves in space against them, and you know, get them confused on on their on their side of the ball. So we're trying to do it right now in practice and and see a lot of different formations, see see what we can do to, you know, put them in an uncomfortable situation. So. For me, I'm just trying to, you know, get a grasp of everything that we got going on in the, in the, in the game plan. But you know, I just can't wait to show it and, and execute it on Sunday. How excited are you to actually implement the game plan rather than taking it easy, like in the preseason? Like, yeah. Show what you got. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like the preseason is more like just the base formations and, and you know, just trying to get ourselves get our feet wet pretty much. But now that we get to go into the season and actually, you know, open up the playbook and, and do the things that we've been working on for a lot of months now um I, it's pretty exciting and then now, now i get the show and now we all get to show what we you know been doing this whole time so i think it's gonna be good for us to to show that and to, to get it going i know you're not gonna give any away but you have a few favorites already that you're waiting for to be called you're right i can't give away <laughs> I can't but, there give away. but there are some okay. there are some yeah well we know uh y'all know yeah you guys you guys come out every day so y'all be like yep i've seen that before okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, i appreciate it yeah.